Hello beer tubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me Peter the Master of Puppets today joined by Jakob the Lormalt. Oh yeah, and we're going to be looking at an Alesmith beer that was kindly sent to me from Brian. Thanks a lot for sending this Brian. This is the Alesmith My Bloody Valentine Ale. And uh, yeah, they released this for Valentine's Day this year. It's a, uh, as a limited release beer. It's uh, a red ale or an amber ale on 6.66% alcohol by volume. And uh, yeah, it says, don't spend this single awareness day alone. Grab a beer. This red-blooded cousin of Evil Dead Red Ale or Halloween Brew is a beautiful crimson color. Notes of caramel, toast, and bittersweet chocolate balance an intense bouquet of floral hop aromas that we know you'll fall in love with. The finish leaves a pleasant, full-bodied sweetness on the palate that won't spread angry rumors about you all, your friend, about you to all your friends, like that one time when I was. Oh, uh, happy Valentine's Day! <laughs> Pair this beer with jilted lovers' reservations for one or your favorite emo album. <laughs> That's awesome, emo. Shitty music though. So we got the Ale Smith, My Bloody Valentine Board, and that's a nice looking red ale or amber ale. It's yeah. a dark mahogany red color, I'd say. Yep, player. Well, it's got some slight chill haze or hop haze on there as well, but yeah. not too much. A nice uh, beige looking head. Yep. Still on the aroma. Mmm, hoppy. Mm, yeah, quite hoppy still. If this was released back in February, <laughs> we're in April now. I'm getting a lot of like traditional West Coast aromas, a lot of yeah. grapefruit. Again, as they say on the label, floral notes, uh, a little bit of a kind of piney aroma as well. What do you yeah, pick up? Some fruity fruitiness. I, I don't remember if you mentioned it, but some caramel um, maltiness and some almost slightly toasted notes. Yeah, from, toasty, uh, maybe toasty nutty notes. Yeah, hazel nutty notes. Yeah, definitely. You definitely get that pair of both. Like the toasty caramelly flavors along with hops. Yeah. Still. Even though it's not the freshest beer break. No, you can just smell some tea leafy going on. Well out. not as much. No. But again, it's West Coast. They yeah. do they put a lot of hop in hops in there. But it's a pretty it's pleasant aroma. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to say. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks to Brian for sending this. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah, that is a really nice red ale. Um it still has got a pretty big hop character yeah. for it being released back in, in February, actually. Yeah, of course. It's only two months. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's actually kind of fresh still. Yeah. yeah I, I was thinking, like, February, that's way too old, but no. <laughs> really nice grapefruity and floral notes. It's still fresh. Yeah, it's still fresh, sorry. <laughs> but, but uh, yeah. Sweet citrus fruits as well. Mouthfeel is medium, straight up, kind of medium. Mm -hmm. uh, rounding off in a nice, dry, lingering aftertaste. Yeah. And you get a lot of nice juicy hop flavors. Mm. It's quite juicy and still quite bitter, but also I'm getting like a little bit of dark fruit in there, and it has a spicy rye-like character as well. Yeah, on the back end, which is quite nice. I love that kind of spicy. Mm. I, I don't think there's rye in here. I'm not entirely sure, but I love that kind of character in in, in red ales. Yeah, specifically, that's that's quite nice. This is ales. extremely easily drinkable. I'm just mm -hmm. hawking it down. <laughs> yeah, it's really sessionable. Um, and I can see it, they say it's like chocolate flavor. Hmm. I can see it more like a chocolate malty, malt flavor than yeah. actual chocolate, along with the toasty malty notes and uh, kind of the caramel and toffee flavors as well. Almost maybe a kind of like a, oh, a pomegranate maybe? Pomegranate? Yeah, pomegranate yeah, kind of taste. I don't think it has the tea leaf really that no. much. Just a little bit. And it's solid bitterness as well. I wonder what the IBUs are. I don't think it tastes so. Nah, it doesn't look like it. But Aylesmith in general just make some really nice beers. Mm. Uh, they, they, they do. I mean, and for a West Coast uh, hoppy beer, it's actually got a decent amount of balance. So you also taste some of the maltiness since it's an amber ale. Uh, There's a sweetness kind of really balances out the bitterness. Yeah, one of my favorite amber ales mm. is probably Fat Cat. Mm. From beer here, but yeah. this because it, it's got Nelson and I love Nelson, but this is really good. It's a nice balance, nice West Coast hop flavors. It's great stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go straight up 90 on this. It's really nice. It's really sessionable. Great stuff. Uh, another uh, pretty bang tasty on. beer. <laughs> bang on beer from Alesmith. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the same 90 as well. I should have worn my Alesmith shirt for this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm gonna go 90 as well. I don't know. I can't put anything on it. No, it's just a really nice. Red ale or, or amber ale, whatever you want to call it. I mean, yeah. If I've heard some people say that the Evil Dead Red is better, 
So kind of want to try this. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> Uh, especially since it's tap only, but oh, whatever. But still great stuff, so yeah, thanks a lot to Brian for sending this one. We have uh, two more beers to review from him that will be coming along in probably a month or so because I have so much beer to review right now. Uh, and the whole beer mail that we see is Yeah, Copenhagen Beer Celebration is coming up as well, so we're gonna buy beer there to bring home, and oh, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be some beery, summery months here. So yeah, guys, definitely let us know what you think of the Alesmith My Bloody Valentine if you've had it. As always, guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. We're going to say cheers. Cheers. We're going to see you guys in another beer review.